Hello, my name is Fatine Grzeski and I'm putting my name forward to run for the nomination of the Conservative Party of Canada uh, so that I can represent you in this upcoming federal election right here in St. John Rossi. You know, one of the reasons that I'm putting my name forward is because I share a concern that many of those in St. John and Rossi have actually expressed to me and that's a concern number one uh, for the middle class and making sure that we are creating jobs that we are supporting uh, industries that are creating jobs for working moms and dads like many of you and like myself and my husband uh, but the second reason is because of the concern that many people have and that I share uh, regarding the federal tax burden that is currently on us and the tax burden in general let me unpack this for you um, just a little bit. You know, I was shocked to learn that it took us 153 years to get our federal debt to 700 billion. And Justin Trudeau has effectively doubled that in less than a year to almost, you know, it could be somewhere between 1.2 and 1.5 trillion. We actually don't know at this point. What does that mean practically? Well, Practically, that means that every single one of us, you, myself, uh, my children, your children, your grandchildren, you know, every single one of us actually owes $24,000 towards that federal debt portion. And that doesn't even include uh, the provincial debt portions that many of us also carry as well. I didn't realize that, well, let me actually ask this. Um, if we owe 24,000 in our federal debt portion right now, and we see this federal debt skyrocketing out of control, where is that going to go in the days ahead? I was also shocked to learn that the average Canadian household pays 35 to 55% of their annual income to taxes and to government fees at various levels. That means that for over half of the year, we are actually working for the government that whether or not you work for the government, you're working for the government because you don't take home and I don't take home a dollar for myself, for my family, for my children, for my future, for your family, your children, your future until almost halfway through the year or beyond halfway through the year in some years. And that is absolutely crazy. You know, going into COVID-19, we were paying $80 million a day just to interest, just to interest on the federal debt. And who, who uh, benefits from that? Is it the taxpayer? Actually, it's the banks and it's the fiscal elite in Canada. It's those who own stocks and bonds. Most of us, um, most of us, I know I don't own a stock or bond and I, I think probably most of us watching this video probably don't own a stock or bond. So that $80 million a day isn't going to the average Canadian. And that was before COVID-19. Coming out of COVID-19, with a doubled federal debt, does that mean that we're gonna be paying $160 million a day to interest on the federal debt? What happens if interest rates go up? Here's a better question. What could we do with $160 million a day for our seniors, for our children, 20% of whom go to bed hungry in St. John Ross say um, every night of the week and wake up hungry? What could we do for child poverty? What could we do for single moms? What could we do for the issues with the First Peoples not having clean water on some of our reserves. We could do so much with that and we can do so much better. And so I want to invite you to join me uh, in this, in being a voice on this issue. If I am elected as the candidate for the Conservative Party of Canada, I will bring this into the federal election and end if elected as Member of Parliament, I will bring this right into the House of Commons. I will be a voice. I will be a fighting voice for the Atlantic region. I will be a fighting voice for the middle class. My husband and I, we've been a part of the middle class, just like many of you watching this, our entire lives. We've worked hard our entire lives to put food on the table. And just like you, we've worked hard for our children and for their future. And so if elected, I commit to you to fight for you, to fight for your children, to fight for your grandchildren, just like I would fight for my own. Because the truth is, it's the same fight. And so please, would you join me? Would you vote for me in this upcoming nomination race? How do you do that? You might ask, well, it's super easy. All you do is go to vote15.ca and you can sign up to be a member of the Conservative Party of Canada right there. It's only $15 for a full year membership. If you're a member or a resident of St. John Rossi, you can vote for me. When you sign up to be that member, um, you'll get an email to let you know when the election will be taking place and where you can vote. I truly believe that our best days can be ahead of us and I am committed to being a voice to fight for the middle class and to fight for you. Please join me. Let's get Canada back on track.